Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel, The Burr Home Bar. I hope you're all well and I hope you're all in the mood for a cocktail. When am I not in the mood for a cocktail? Basically, never. <laughs> Everyone's the same, right? Uh, so yeah, thank you for joining me this week while I try and make another delicious cocktail for you guys. The one that I'm going to make this week is a vodka based cocktail and I've called it Magic Mushroom. And really, the only reason for that is because of my glass that I'm going to use as a little mushroom, a mushroom-shaped glass. That is all that is going on with this cocktail. I'm going to try a bubble as well with my um, bubble gun, but I just, I haven't used it in ages and i just done a little tester and it didn't really go great, so I don't think it's, it's going to work. But anyway, I'm already preparing this video before I've even started and that is not good. So. Let's get the energy back up, positive vibes, and yeah, this cocktail is going to be fantastic. So it's called Magic Mushroom, and as I say, it's a vodka-based cocktail. So I'm using my Dutch Barn Vodka, which is now popular because of Ricky Gervais. If you follow me on Instagram, I have been posting a few, a few stories. He is so funny. He's just such a funny ambassador for this vodka. It's great. But I got it way back before it was popular. Yay! And I have been using it for a while, and it is good. I don't make a lot of vodka-based cocktails, uh, but this... Uh, when I do I tend to use this so yeah that's going to be the base of this cocktail we're also it's going to be quite a sweet cocktail because we're also going to have chambord which is ras like black raspberry liqueur so yeah that's obviously very sweet and raspberry ish I'm also doing lychee liqueur with my favorite type of lychee liqueur love the bottle love this one and um, it's fabulous and haven't used it in a while so I thought I would add that in there as well with just to make it even more sweet a little bit of sugar syrup some cranberry juice and some lime juice the reason for the cranberry juice is because i wanted to make the cocktail right so there we go that's the insight into how i make up cocktails sometimes so let's start with my glass which you won't be able to see oh well maybe there's a little bit of smoke kind of coming out of it because i was just testing my bubble gun in here and it didn't go to plan but it smells lovely I've got the, the strawberry smoke bubble thing, so it smells like lovely smoky strawberries. Anyway, enough chatting. Right, let's get on. So we're going to do 45 mils of this vodka. Obviously, you can use any vodka, but I am using the Dutch bar. It's just such a good carrier of flavouring cocktails, really, isn't it, vodka? You can have it with many, many different things. Okay, so I have not used this in eight. This is so dusty, this bottle. Does anyone know if, if like, Chambord goes out of date? I don't know, I've, I've had it for years, but it smells the same. So 25 mils, that smells, smells fine, she says. I'm going out, so if I, um, if I mill when I'm out, I'm gonna blame it on this cocktail, not probably the mountains of other cocktails I'm about to consume. <laughs> Gorgeous lychee liqueur. I'm going to do 30 mils of that. Some people think that lychee can be quite overpowering in drinks, but I love it. I think if you're going to use it, then you may as well really use it and really taste it. So, sugar syrup, I'm just going to do a little bit. I'm just going to do 50 mils just so I want you to sweet up ever so slightly. Um, so, I'm just going to do 50 mils here. And then, lime juice, I have already squeezed my lime, so I'm going to do 15 mils, depending on. Yeah, I was going to say, depending on my line, but that was pretty much all that was in there. Um, okay, and then cranberry juice. I'm probably going to go in with a, a good glug of cranberry juice. Um, I'll do 50 mils. I'm worried that when I make this cocktail, it's not going to come up to the top of the glass, and that means I definitely won't be able to put a bubble because you need the liquid there for the bubble to sit on. So we'll see. I've never used these glasses before, so we're going to see how it goes. Okay, that is everything in the shaker. I'm just going to add ice. And then give this, make sure it's on, and then give this a little bit of a shake. So we're into March, huh? How did that happen? January felt like it went on for like eight weeks or something, and then February felt like one week. It's just crazy. It happens every year, but every year we're all shocked by it, <laughs> basically. But yeah, March already crazy. Okay, let's go with that. That's feeling nice and cold. So, as I said, on my little mushroom glass. Super cute. I've wanted one of these for ages. 
And then because of the lime juice, I'm just going to strain for any little bits of stray bits of lime. So in the glass we go. Yeah, it does go. Oh, oh, come on. That almost went straight up to the top. Okay. Well, you know what I might do? I'm going to give it a bit of a taste. Let you guys know what it's like. And then I might add a tiny bit more cranberry juice on the top and then try and get my bubble on top. And I bet you the bubble's not going to work after all this. All this hassle for a bubble. Okay, cheers. It is lovely. It is quite strong actually. So maybe adding a bit of cranberry just won't completely ruin it. I love it. I love lychee juice. I'm not the biggest, biggest fan of cranberry juice in cocktails, if I'm honest. I've used it a few times. She says that she like puts more cranberry juice in it. What the things I do to make things look nice. That kind of looks a nicer colour though. But oh that was that was delicious. Really lovely. Do you know what? I'm going to taste it again after I do the bubble. So, I've got this kind of liquid here that you use to make the bubble with. A bit of smoke, if nothing else, a bit of drama. Okay, please keep your fingers crossed for me. This is so not going to work. <laughs> okay. Why? Why? I think the last time I'd done one of these videos with bubbles, I was like, I said to Ben, remind me never ever to do this again because it's just so stressful. <laughs> I'm going to try one more time. You can see the effect that I was going for though, right? Okay. It smells lovely. <laughs> Smells like berry smoke, so do you know what? It smells lovely. Let's taste it again now that I've potentially ruined it with cranberry juice and all the smoke. Oh no, it, it, sm oh, it smells really good. It does smell really good with the smoke. I've not really stirred it, have I? Mm. This video is chaotic today. What is going on? I'm literally running out of time to leave. Okay. Yeah, I did ruin it. God damn it! I ruined, I ruined it. Yeah, it was so much better before. That's too much cranberry juice. All of that for a bubble that didn't even work. That's just, yeah, that's ridiculous. Got a little bit over there. I'm going to stage it. So I've got some moss and some mushrooms and things. So instead of having the picture on the bar with the bubble because it's not worked, I'm going to now put in the picture of it with all of its nice mushroomy things round about. But this is this is what I mean. So yeah, that was my magic mushroom cocktail. It was delicious, did taste, I really did get the chambord coming through and the lychee and the lime juice, it was dead fresh, it was really nice. That th Those quantities were perfect, I just added a bit too much cranberry juice at the end and I need to go away and, and yeah, do some more practicing on that. Anyway, thank you for watching me on the Burrow Bar. Catch me next time for hopefully a less chaotic cocktail video. I'm still going to drink this, FYI, absolutely. Um, yeah, thank you as always and catch you next time. Cheers. <laughs>